Ah, bueno, ahora retuve. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. And everybody else that has been on my channel and supporting me, I appreciate you guys all. And I'm back with another crossery haul, guys. I haven't done a crossery haul in three months. Imagine. Like, we haven't bought proper monthly crossery in like three months. Remember, I said I was, I was going to do like weekly and all that. Yeah, I've been doing weekly there and there. But now, we needed to go in for a big one and then we're going to continue with the weekly stuff. So, I just want to share with you all the stuff that I bought. You know, I like doing laundry, like, not laundry. <laughs> I'm actually doing laundry outside now, so I'm thinking of that because it was supposed to be done in the morning and it's not done. And I'm starting to stress out. That's why in my brain, it's only laundry, laundry, laundry. And then I was lazy to even film this closely haul. But there's somebody... With the sirumula in my water, I guess I'm So now I'm forced to film this. I'm not really forced, but actually, hair push gave me to come to film this because they've been sitting here since I came back from the shops, like around and a half past nine, because I went to the shops in the morning. So Quickly, I want to share that with you guys without wasting any more time. Let me go get the receipt so I can share with you the total of this grocery. I think there's load shedding as well. Let me see. Yes, there is load shedding. So I just want to quickly share with you our closer haul for the month. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and also subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I'm back with the receipt. As if like I got good news when I'm saying back with the receipt. So yeah. Here is our receipt. I hope you guys can see the price there. 
a little bit show if i don't see it then i won't be able to point it to you guys guys it says 2755 for something like that let me just check yeah 2755 yeah there you go i hope you guys can see that so that's our closure for this month without my ironing board guys i don't know how i'm gonna do this so i've got a bunch of laundry on it of dishes what's with the laundry i've got a bunch of dishes on it so i won't be able to take them off i'm lazy guys i'm so lazy so here i've got eggs i've got maize meal some eggs five kg maize meal and then i've got some bukoma cornflakes so that's for the kids my kids refuses to, if they eat like this for a long time so they refuse to take it for longer without exchanging it so i rob them by putting a little bit of this this i don't really like much they have a lot of sugar so i put like guys even six of these like they last a long time even six of this the, i i am able to fool them into thinking that the cereal is not what they normally eat so that's what i use so i hope you guys can use this little trick that i use on my kids if they don't want to eat any cereal guys i just try and trick them with this one even with the wheat picks they are not into it anymore so when i want them to eat it i just put a little bit of this and then they are able to eat that and then i got them some crystal valley full cream milk so this was 100 rand 99 99 yeah it was basically 100 rand so i got this and then here i got some twin saver toilet tissue and then i've got some twin saver paper towels so so here i've got some sunlight green bar the light is too much let me try and reduce it down so i've got some sunlight green bar that i grate in my laundry every single time i'm doing laundry this is what i use to soak it up with other things as well i did share the mixture of the laundry mix that i use on um instagram so you guys can go and see the reel there and then i did take a picture of it before i can put up the reel so you guys can see what i do mix in there so for my whites actually basically that mixture is basically for my whites and my kids clothes clothes of course they get very dirty on the knees and stuff so that mixture works well with those kind of clothes and stuff so do go and follow me on Instagram if you don't know about me being on Instagram. You can go there. It's at Bogushisahata. And also on TikTok, it's at Bogushisahata underscore cleaning. You can go ahead and follow me there. So I've got some value pack sanitary pads. And then I've got some value pack panty liners. These are always, all both of them are always brand. So that's for me. So here I've got some air freshener in a citrus scent. And then here I've got some Sati Skin refillable thing that you can refill your bottle if you do. But I don't know it's my bottle. I don't know if I throw it out. Hopefully, I was buying things this with hopes that I did not throw my bottle away. Hopefully, I did not throw it away. I, don't, I can't see it. So hopefully, I'm going to have to go dig it out of a dustbin somewhere. But i got to refill one because the bottle ones are not there. So... That's what I got, an air freshener and some bubble bath. Hmm. And then here I've got some Protext bath soap, four of them for four weeks in a month. So starting from the 15th, guys, then tomorrow, starting from the 15th to the next 15th, that's what we're going to be using for the rest of the month. So there they are. Here I've got some Pampas wipes for my son's backpack. So at school, they request some wipes so his is finished so i got in this pampas one is this which one is this i thought i was buying the disinfecting one you know for the for the older kids i don't know if this is the right one but i bought this wipes for him and then i also bought this wipes for myself the lilies one 10 feminine wipes yeah so these are 10 feminine wipes there's two of them inside you can use this guys when you are on your periods you know they wipe it very well when you when you're changing your sanitary pads then you can use this have it in your bag anytime so you can just refresh yourself as the day goes even when you're not you can still use them i use them all the time so this is what i have there so me and gracie we have our hair done this cornrows so they need a spray so i'm gonna use this in a 
spray bottle with water and then that's what we're going to be using on our hair it works so well better than the, the like like normal sprays that they sell for braids because it does build up but i mean in a month they will be out and i sometimes try and wipe them with like a wet cloth just to try to reduce all of the oils and stuff but it doesn't really carry a lot of oil you don't put the whole bottle just put a little bit and water and then you spray every other day not every day and then they will leave your hair nice and even when you are taking them out like it's not painful or anything like that because of this one and then here i've got a fresh natural antiperspirant i don't know if you guys can see there because there's too much light so i've got this antiperspirant there guys this is like the perfect light but then when it comes to white things then it just not doing things so here i've got some handy handy cream in a lemon scent and then this one was on promotion some heavy duty bags you know like your dustbin bag i need to buy a dustbin guys like i have to stop being ghetto like seriously i have to stop so yeah so those are the plastics so my V moisturizer is finished i even cut it up <laughs> because i'm the ghetto guys so I bought this Pons one that I always buy, guys. So, uh, because I don't buy the CeraVe's local, so I need to go to town to buy it. So, in the meantime, I'm going to be using this until I go into town to buy those. And then I also have some Nivea cream, cocoa butter, body lotion thing. So, yeah, there is some body lotion. Actually, I saw this other one that my sister's got. I don't know. I think it's new. It has an avocado here. So I need to try that one because I, I feel like it's moisturizing nicely. I used it during the Easter when I was home. The one for my sister, I've used that one. So I loved it, but I couldn't find it in the shop, right? So I've got this one because the one I'm using, it's, it doesn't like really move. You know, the one in the blue, the one in the blue tap, in the blue bottle, it doesn't really move the way I like. So I got that this one instead. So here I've got some buns. Today I'm doing laundry and I'm tired so I'm not going to be cooking so I'm going to be doing like chicken bacon with this because I've got some chicken I bought some chicken patties I'll show you guys. I hopefully I didn't leave it behind because I know myself like if something is not part of our grocery is the one that gets cut off whenever the balance doesn't go well on the screen. So I've got some muffins there for the kids just for a little treat. So that's what I got. This one I think is probably dripping, so I don't want to take it out. Okay, so it's some Goldy 5 kg chicken. I'm just gonna leave it in here because I feel like it's starting to drip. Because I've been here, they've been here since the morning, guys. I've been tired. I haven't bought pasta since December. Remember all those pastas I bought in December, so they've lasted us as that long we still have the spaghetti but we don't have this macaroni so i've got the two kg one kg yeah so we've got the one kg macaroni and we also have the two kg tested rice and then here i've got a tin of lucky star pulchards and then i've got a tin of uh, baked beans i've realized that we don't really like this in my family so but i got them i only got two normally would buy four but i got two because i wanna like we were struggling like during the school holidays with like making breakfast and lunch during the day so we don't know what else to eat with the bread so i got this but then i saw somebody putting i saw somebody on instagram doing something extra with them so i want to try that so maybe it will taste nice then we'll buy them more so i bought that and some two pilchers in a hot sauce of course tomato sauce for who no i don't like this i like this one's better i'm actually trying to share things that goes together together if it makes sense but i already shared the buns but i couldn't i mean i only have two hands so i've got some oma rusk because me and my little sister were talking about this during the holidays and i got cravings and then i've got the albany bread and i also open it because i had coffee after i came back home so i already ate these and then here i've got some bananas and then i've got some red apples so there is no grocery without these and that's just all i have to say about these two they like salt and pepper guys so i've got some granola for myself and then i've got yogurt for the kids 
so here i've got some chicken fillets and then here i've got some chicken burgers the one that we're gonna eat tonight with the kids so that's what i've got there so guys like what was that city so i grew up not eating pork but since i took my own way guys now i, I do eat pork and i don't really eat it much because i don't really like it that much but if i do eat it just know that i'm gonna put it on some monkey blend sauce it is so yummy it's so yummy on this i can't even smell anything i can't taste the funny stuff so i like it with this monkey land i just fry it and then after i fry it hmm, already i want to eat <laughs> so i just put uh, salt pepper spices on top and then i put this after it uh, it has fried and then it tastes so so nice so this one when i have this weekend i just bought two trays so that all of us can have enough meat so that's what i got so on the spread i've got some mixed fruit jam for school and then i've also got the original rama i went home guys yo the things i changed after going home and realized on why they're still sticking to the same clothes that we used to buy they didn't really change that much so they bought rama i was like you know what i've been on stock for some time so i'm you know i don't know they just have that influence at home like you're like okay that's what we're using that's what we're using there and so i got some rama instead of stock so yeah pretty much spread for bread and every other thing that you want to cook on the spice side i've got some raja i've got some spice for rice and then i'm i've got some chicken portuguese portuguese chicken chicken <laughs> portuguese chicken seasoning so all this is 10 rand so these are the seedless grapes this was 10 rand you know how ShopRite does when they put them down then so i thought since we're gonna have it this weekend then it's not really a problem so here i've got some maize even this one is 10 rand we need to prepare them maybe i'll just put them in water yeah and then here i've got some mixed i don't know what's wrong with these ones these things last a long time in the fridge especially when you leave it in this plastic they last a long so i don't know why did they put put it, uh, 20 rand so yeah so i got those i'm gonna put them in the fridge i'm basically gonna wash them and put them back in this plastic just to make sure that whatever that is on it then is off so that they don't continue rotting them if they are rotting because i don't see anything wrong with them we'll see so here i've got some house brand vinegar for laundry Oh, I forgot to buy my bed. Like, guys, oh, I forgot to buy my bed. I need to buy those. And then here I've got some honey. So I've got some honey because we do have my bed with vinegar, a little bit of vinegar in my bed. It tastes so nice. If you don't want to ferment it yourself, you can also use the this thing, vinegar, and then it tastes one more mara. You don't have to put too much, otherwise, your tummy is gonna hurt. But that's what we use we used to use at home so remember i said i'm no longer buying like beef so i bought this hake fillets i always buy this but i bought them again so this is gonna be a replacement for the for the red meat and then here i've got this kellogg's eight noodles for the kids just on days that i'm tired or they're hungry and all that then i can just quickly do this for them this was not on promo but it was 32 rand i think here yeah, so i've got some red grapes and then i've got some ripe avocado there for myself when i make a sandwich then i can do that a toast i can do that and then here i've got some sensodyne whitening thing gentle whitening toothpaste for myself and then here i've got some uh, fresh cream i want to do like your sunday course i don't really like sunday course guys to me that thing is a gross thing but i'm craving that and i'm gonna be trying to do that over the weekend so over here i've got some crushed garlic so sunday course again i'm gonna do some cream spinach with that cream and then this mushroom and then the spinach yeah so here let me just hold the plastic so I've got a half a cabbage and then I've got carrots for coleslaw. So 
so here i've got some beads i want to make beetroot with that vinegar i like it the old-fashioned way with vinegar not with the uh, chutney you know i don't like it i like the old-fashioned way of grating onion and putting vinegar i love that one and then here i've got some tomatoes i couldn't find the big one i wanted the bigger one that can go for like two weeks so i couldn't find that so i've got these ones 